Good evening. Welcome to Doorway to the Paintings. And we have a great painting to look at tonight. A painting that I like very much. A painting that is very much like a dream. A painting that you can really let your imagination run wild. And it's basically really early in the morning. Still dark but you could see the skies getting blue and that's a constant theme in many of my paintings I really like that really enjoy it and there's a lot of inspirations behind paintings like this so throughout my series I'll probably be repeating myself uh, over and over again as to what those inspirations are as long as I'm talking about the same type of painting when I go on to other paintings that are very different, then there'll be different inspirations for those for the most part. Not always, but for the most part. So let's take a look at this one in depth. This is one of my favorites, ladies and gentlemen. I really like this one. Really do. Particularly the shadows and light the lighting, how this light's coming down because it's early morning so through the fog, through the clouds it's either the the light from the morning coming in or it could be a street light somewhere where the light's coming down I didn't really work that out in my mind but yeah, look at the, the shadow here, look at the depth the shadow here. It's almost like a dream. And then the rain. I can feel the rain on my face just right now. And of course when I painted it. The leaves, the texture of the leaves. I can feel it because the paint's thicker in certain areas. But the, the way it looks, I... I'm really a fan of this. I got other paintings like this too. Other paintings that uh, are similar to this, but each a little different. Sometimes very different, but usually a little different. Let's zoom back here. I hope a lot of you guys out there are watching this before you go to sleep because I always wanted to program or a show like this to watch before I hit the sack. Something pleasant to watch with this kind of scenery. And the scenery in some of my other paintings too. It's like you can start here, like around this area, and you can walk and then kind of get lost in the mist. There's another opening here you can walk down into the grass and go over here and then go down to where these other houses are. In terms of inspirations, I think a few things inspired me to do this. I used to have dreams all the time when I was a kid where I would wake up and it was dark and I would walk through the neighborhood at night it would start on the porch I'd get up go to the porch and I would either walk or float off the front porch and start walking or floating through the neighborhood this is some of my favorite dreams and then I think uh, in the back of my mind, subconsciously, Nightmare on Elm Street inspired me. And then Halloween and maybe Lady in White and also um, a few other movies too. Superman with the flying aspect, going out there and trying to fly. Tried to fly in my dreams. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it felt like I was just swimming through the air. <laughs> But uh, yeah, in Nightmare on Elm Street, when Nancy, when she was walking through the neighborhood at night, 
really Heather Langenkamp did such a great job. She was walking through the neighborhood and then the mist, you can see some of the, the light next to the trees. Um, when she was walking through her neighborhood looking for Freddy, I think that was in the back of my mind. And then also uh, Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween walking across the street to the house where Michael was. Those trees, the neighborhood, I mean, in that movie, the sky wasn't blue like this. That's different, but the trees, those are really great looking trees in those movies. So I think those were in the back of my mind as well. But the dreams I had when I was a kid really played into it. And of course, I like the color blue. This, obviously, it's pink. It might, at first I thought it kind of stood out like an eyesore, but I kind of like this color. If I had to do it over again, I might make, make it a more faded pink with a little more white in there, a little more faded, or just make them a grayish. I've done that where I kind of have grayish white flowers as well. That would have fit in here pretty good. As I zoom in, you can't really see anyone inside. It's just, it's just basic blue. There's some glass, and then you have your, your wooden, little wood, little bit of wood on the outside. Almost look like bars. I didn't want. Wait, well, not really like bars. I've seen windows like that before for sure. But I like this. If anything, this painting gives me a sense of freedom, <laughs> not captivity. I add a lot of dark trees in my paintings, a lot of them. And you can see the, the roots kind of coming down here. See where the tree hits the grass. And some of my paintings, the tree kind of flows right into the grass and it's just a shadow on the bottom you can't it's hard to tell where the tree stops and where the grass starts kind of like this bush here it's hard to tell where the bush starts and stops and where the grass begins got another bush over here This could have been a painting all by itself, just this shot. Just that shot alone could have been a painting. Well, this is pretty defined here, where it starts and stops. You can see the, the ground and the tree are very different there. I add this effect a lot in my paintings. I haven't painted for a while, but if I did, I if I painted another one like this, I'd definitely add light like that into it. Mist, light. I like using rain. That bush over here, it almost looks like a, a mouth. It's like a face and then a mouth. I never planned on that. This bush here, it's misty and it's rainy. So you can see some of the branches and the foliage and then other parts you can't because there's so much mist. Yeah, some people might look at this as scary and I understand that, but I think it's beautiful. I really like this kind of painting got your white picket fence here and obviously the flowers and the planter it's in another white picket fence here this must have been one piece at one time but it kind of broke but that's okay you get a nice little path in you can walk When I see paintings like this, I always wonder what's going on behind the objects in the painting, behind the trees, what's beyond that? I indicated other houses back here. 
it's cool, it's wet. You can walk back in there. And if you go deeper, you'll probably find more trees back there with more lighting, more mist, more fog. Yeah, it's it can definitely be used in a scary movie. But I, when I see this, I'm relaxed. Makes me peaceful. I feel good. I feel like I want to rest. <laughs> feel like I'd like to just go to this kind of area and meditate. Meditate, close my eyes. Well, as long as there's no one around or someone that might come upon you. I hope Freddy is not behind this tree or Michael Myers or maybe my character Gromis would his hand would come up from the earth and grab you and try to t take you down. <laughs> yeah. I hope not. Or Jason, wherever there's woods, you got to think about Jason coming out, reaching out. Or the werewolf. Yeah, I've painted werewolf paintings. I'll have to do a video on one of those werewolf paintings, too. Yeah, I painted this about 10 years ago. Nine or 10 years ago maybe eight but it wasn't you know this painting took me a short amount of time it didn't take me as long as some of my others it really didn't you know the one with the castle that I showed you it this one here it took me a long time because there's so many characters and there's so many pieces and then that castle with all the bricks and it took me a, a, quite a long time to do that. A significant amount of time. But this one didn't take me much time. And this is another one here where I didn't... It didn't take me a lot of time. Maybe an hour. This one here maybe an hour. Some of them like 45 minutes. Some of those paintings might just take me about 45 minutes. But not the, the Frost Giant one, not the one where I had Gromus, and not the one where I have characters. Usually those take me a long time because it's not just the scenery, it's the characters too. I think this part here, and then the darkness, let me just flip it up like this. See how it's dark and then the shadow? It depends on what the lighting is in the room, but sometimes it'll appear like this. And I sometimes I actually prefer the dark. See how it's dark there now? You got sometimes it'll look like that, depends on what the lighting is, but I think Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, when you see those dark trees, that that had to be in my mind when I painted this. But mostly I think it was from the dreams when I was a kid. And then just because I like the the rain, this lighting, and the rain, I try to make some drops bigger than others so you can see. This one's thinner, this one's thicker. And you just get the right brush that you like and you just tap these leaves on. Doesn't take much. And one of my bigger brushes I used to do the grass. It wasn't wasn't hard for me. These paintings are it come naturally to me, and I enjoy them. So that makes them even more easy to do. See, I can turn the light and make it look even brighter. Like in the inner when I first ex had it in my hand and I was talking. That's how it more really, yeah, I've turned the light on a little higher. Or I, I moved the position of the light so you can see it. That's how it is in full lighting for, for the most part. But you know, I actually prefer kind of like this, a little darker. That's my preference. 
But either way, I can go back to this. You got too, if you have too much light, it creates more of a shine that I want, more than a shine than I actually want. I don't want really any shine in this painting. Yeah, this all by itself could have been a painting just like that. Really like this one. Really do. I hope you guys liked it too. Well, I'm sorry for all you horror fans out there. Maybe you were expecting a painting that was scarier, but this, uh, actually, I can understand why some people would think this is scary. I think it would be great in a horror movie. I really do think it would be great for that. But I think it's a beautiful painting, a painting that really relaxes me, makes me feel good, and I hope you guys liked it too. If you like this, please consider subscribing so I can make more videos and We'll be back to you soon, and uh, we, meaning me and my paintings and my characters, so you guys take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye.